All right, team, welcome back to another video. Now, today's video, something slightly different. I'm gonna be going through a full session in the gym, showing you how I train, and the session will be coming from the Goalkeeper Strength Program. I get loads of questions from you guys asking about how to train in the gym. We have some videos on the channel already, but I'm gonna go through a full session, how I'm training in the gym at the moment, all the reps, all the sets, all the exercises, and as I say, this is one of the sessions that is included in the Goalkeeper Strength Program, which is available over on the website. It's a 12 week gym program designed specifically for goalkeepers that you can use in or out of season and that you can keep using once you finish the 12 weeks. I'm gonna show you one of the sessions. Hundreds of goalies already have the program, so if you want a copy, follow the link and go and get yours from the website. But before I get into that, I just wanna say a massive thank you for the response to last week's video. It was amazing to read through all the comments, amazing to receive all your support, so a massive, massive thank you. I'm currently waiting on international clearance on the football front, but once that's gone through, we'll be into the games, you guys will get the match day vlogs, and we'll have some training videos coming very, very soon. So hang tight for them, they are coming up, and hopefully, it should be a really big season. But right now, let's head to the gym. So within the goalkeeper strength program, we have three four week blocks. The first block is a foundation block. The second block focuses on strength and the third block focuses on power. We're gonna be doing a session from the strength block today. So into the gym, a little bit of a cycle to warm up and then we're into the warm up section of the program. Now the warm up section covers mobilizing, activation and also a little bit of plyometrics. And within mobilizing, which is what we're going through now, there are four areas, ankle, knee, hip, and shoulder. You can pick one exercise from each of these areas just to start your warm up. So we started off with an elevated ankle stretch, and then within the knee section here, we're doing a banded hamstring stretch. So just take a band, lie on your back, and use it to stretch out the hamstrings. Both legs, nice and easy, kick through, and just pull a little bit more just to work on that flexibility. This is just the warm up section, so taking it nice and easy. Onto the hips, we're gonna be doing a little bit of a pigeon stretch here, so bring the foot up underneath the chest. You can lie down onto it if you wanna increase the stretch, but just sit back into it nice and easy, whatever you would like to do in order to warm up that area as far as you wanna stretch. Then for the shoulders, we're doing a little bit of eagles here. So leg over the top, and then you're just bringing the shoulder up and round, opening all the way up, working on the shoulder, the upper back, getting that spine mobility in there as well. Taking it nice and easy, reaching across, and stretching as far as you can. Onto a little bit of activation. Again, back to the ankles. Here, we're going with the four-way reach. So just reaching forward, sides, back, and all the way across to the other side, using that ankle activation, that ankle mobility. Then we're on to lunge to rotate. So it's just a backward step into a back lunge, rotating all the way across. This again is on the knee section just for activation. Then for the hips, a little bit of lateral lunges, nice and light, nice and easy. Just going through that full range of motion, whatever your range is, just working through it, still within the warm-up phase, so taking it nice and easy. And finally, a little bit of shoulder activation. We've got banded rows, so set the band up, just pulling that band back into your chest and holding. Then onto a little bit of plyos before we get into the main body of the session. Here we've got some altitude landings, so just stepping off, landing, absorbing the impact with the quads, taking that force all the way through the joint, trying to have as soft landing as possible. Then we're onto some rocker jumps, so sitting back, stepping down, and exploding up as high as you can. The plyometrics is starting to increase a little bit more of the intensity, so you've gone through the kind of easier part of the warm up. Now we're starting to really step it up. And finally, we've got the pogo jumps, bringing those toes up, jumping as high as we can. And then we're into the main body of the session. 
So for the first exercise, we're on a front foot elevated split squat. Three sets of six reps each side. Step up onto the plates, dumbbell in one hand, engaging that core so that you're not leaning across and you're controlling the movement all the way down and all the way back up. We're working on strength, so we're having higher weight, lower reps, but you don't want the weight to be so high that you lose the form. Concentrate on that controlled movement. Next up, we've got a superset, the first exercise of which is a dumbbell floor press. So, lying down, elbows on the floor, and then pushing up and through. We're going for three sets of six reps. Again, as this is a strength exercise, we want higher weight, but we want to be able to control the movement and the form to be correct. Don't want the ego to take over with regards to weight. Concentrate on completing the exercises properly. And we're supersetting this with a pull-up. So a superset is one set of one and then one set of the other. So after the first set of the dumbbell floor press, you're onto a set of the pull-ups and can you, you can continue like that. Again, three sets of six reps. Go weighted if you need to, but six reps should be about your maximum. So if that's too easy with body weight, add a little bit of weight with a dumbbell. Next up, another superset, first exercise of which is a lateral lunge, just like we did in the warm up. But as we're in the main body of the session here, I've added a little bit of weight with the plate. Going through the full range of motion, pushing up, controlling it on the way down. Again, three sets of 10 reps each side. And we're gonna superset that with a single leg bridge. Nice and easy, no weight here, but really focusing on the hamstrings. So set that foot down, use the other foot to be off the floor and push the hips up and through. You can hold for a little bit at the top as well, but go through that full range of motion. Three sets of 10 reps each side on that one as well. And then the final part of the session, we're onto a little bit of core. We're gonna superset here as well. First of all, we've got a straight arm sit up Three sets of 10 reps. I'm using a five kilo plate, but again, use whichever plate makes 10 reps about your maximum level. Control it on the way up, control it on the way down, really engage that core. You don't wanna rush these exercises. Control the movement slowly up and control the movement slowly down. You don't need a lot of weight to really feel this one working. we're gonna superset this with suitcase carries. I've got a 20 kilo plate here, just a really slow walk for 10 meters forward and then 10 meters backwards. You wanna engage that core so that you're not leaning on one side, engage it so you're standing straight, walking forwards and walking backwards. Each set you can change which arm you're using or each lap you can change which arm you're using so that you're concentrating both sides and engaging both sides of the core. Session done, hard work, but a good session. Enjoyed that one. As I said, more of a strength focus, the strength block of the goalkeeper strength program. So pushing the weight a little bit more, slightly lower reps, but always focusing on the quality of the movement, having proper form, not letting your ego take hold and whacking on too much weight and then letting your form go out the window. Proper movements, controlled movements, and then build that weight up. So that's the four week block that I'm in. If you would like to get your hands on your own copy of the goalkeeper strength program, Follow the link, it's down below in the video description. As I said, 12 week gym program that you can use in season, out of season, and that you can keep using when you finish the 12 weeks. Foundations of strength, strength, power, it covers all of it in there and it's built together with some top SNC coaches. So everything that you need, including demonstration videos, is in that program for you. So follow the link, grab yourself a copy, and join the hundreds of other goalkeepers benefiting from the Goalkeeper Strength Program. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. It helps us out loads. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and let's keep on smashing it. I'll see you next week for the next episode. As always, keep chasing improvement, and I'll speak to you in a bit. Take care.